It's taking longer for firefighters to make it to emergencies in the capital, and people are dying as a result. The London Fire Brigade has a target time of six minutes to make it to the scene of emergencies. The difference between making that target or not can be the difference between life or death. Since becoming mayor, Boris Johnson has closed 10 fire stations, slashed hundreds of frontline firefighter jobs and axed dozens of fire engines. As a result, we're facing a new and worrying trend of people dying in fires after the London Fire Brigade failed to meet its target response time. Morris Cunliffe, aged 83, died after a fire swept through his home and fire crews arrived outside the target response time. Choi Yip, 85, jumped from the third floor window of his residence after waiting for more than 13 minutes for firefighters to rescue him. Raymond Lister, 86, waited nearly nine minutes before firefighters made it to his home. Dr Claire Sheppy, 47, died in a blaze at her home after the target attendance time was breached. These tragedies all occurred near fire stations that Boris Johnson shut down in 2014. Today, the London Fire Brigade cannot meet its target attendance times to emergencies across half of the capital. Boris Johnson has left behind a tragic legacy, but he's not quite done yet. Even on the last lap of his mayoralty, he's still cutting. 13 fire engines have been axed in the past few weeks. We need the next Mayor of London to tackle the crisis facing the London Fire Brigade and to make sure that firefighters can make it to emergencies on time. Sadiq Khan has made a commitment that as Mayor, he would make sure London is fully equipped for the challenges ahead. The Fire Brigade's union believes that Sadiq Khan is the best choice for London and its firefighters. To have the best chance of saving lives, firefighters need to get to an emergency as quickly as possible, be that a fire, a road traffic collision, or a terror attack. If they don't make it on time, then lives that could have been saved will be lost. London deserves a well-resourced, properly funded fire service. The cuts need to stop, and they need to stop now, because in an emergency, every second counts.